every child gets chicken pox and it just goes away. But we need to pay attention to this virus. It's not benign. We go through various biological changes as we go. The dormant virus within us has the potential to reactivate. Chickenpox goes latent in us for decades, and they can reactivate, and that causes zoster, or what we call shingles. It's actually one of the leading causes of pain associated suicide in the elderly. This pain is only the tip of the iceberg. It can come with a four to five times higher risk of developing a stroke. You're also at an increased risk of developing vascular dementia. Given that over 90% of the world's population has been infected with this virus, this is something we have to really take seriously. I moved to Colorado in 1983. I came here as a postdoctoral fellow in microbiology. I met Dr. Abbas Wafai, the original inventor of Shingrix and along with him, Dr. Don Gilden. He taught us about this virus because he saw patients suffering. Abbas was mainly focusing on glycoproteins with a view to develop a vaccine. And then GlaxoSmithKline had the right adjuvant. And that's the reason why we have a 97% effectiveness of this Shingrix vaccine. It picked up momentum and Shingrix was FDA approved in 2017. Shingrix was an amazing advancement, over 95% efficacy in stopping the rash and the pain associated. But even with that vaccine, it doesn't address other manifestations such as stroke, dementia. We think it's another protein that's causing these things and that's currently untargeted by Shingrix. So that's what we want to do with this new generation of vaccine, keep the successful Shingrix target, but add on this new target so we can have a much broader protection for the patients. But when we started looking at what it takes to actually develop bench to bedside therapy, it's really complicated. It's really out of my wheelhouse. I do science. I can clone your gene much better than I can manage my checkbook. <laughs> All the management, the financial aspects, whether it's a patent issue, because of my lack of knowledge, I couldn't do anything. And that's something as researchers that we don't have a lot of experience with. CU Innovations, they help us translate this into a viable, marketable product so that it can be commercialized and finally help an average patient. CU Innovations helped us really come up with what this would look like for patients and ultimately, and probably most importantly, how we can actually get it to the patients. They encourage you to take these really big swings and they're one of the biggest cheerleaders we had. Everything from protecting the intellectual property to going through regulatory hurdles, marketing with industry partners. CU Innovations were the catalyst to kind of get this vaccine to reality. There are many times we had identified certain things that are commercially viable and they've always been supportive. The value of collaboration can never be overstated. It's incredible to be part of the legacy here at CU Anshu, specifically in the neurology department, with their role in Zostavax and Shingrix and now this hopefully next generation vaccine. And to be working with someone like Ravi, who was there for all the other vaccines, that's really exciting. Mm -hmm.